based on the Mayan calendar of wave harmonics and resonant fields and the liberation of the mind. Now, the Mayan, Olmec Mayan calendar is a calendar that is based on resonating fields of how the earth is changing its magnetism. The magnetism of the planet is dropping. When the planet's magnetism drops, the electricity begins to rise, and that's when consciousness rises. We, in conscious lockdown, the consciousness lockdown that we're in at this time is based upon a magnetic field lockdown. The heavier the magnetic field, the more fucking dumb we become. Because magne magnetism, the magnetic lag of an electrical pulse, creates a lag field. And that's what the Earth has been in for the last 13,000 years. But every 13,000 years, the Earth's magnetic field begins to drop to what is known as zero point relativity. This zero point is when the Earth itself stops spinning. Now the electrical field raises, and what happens? Consciousness, DNA, blood cells, memories, extra dimensional contact, all of that shit begins to happen. And this is documented in the Bible when they speak about the time that the earth and the sun stood still. When the magnetic field drops, that's what this whole calendar is about. 2012, between 2012 and 2017, the Earth's magnetic field is going to drop to zero point. When that shit happens, baby, watch it! Because everybody who's vibrating on the frequency now is going to start taking off. That's why preparation is necessary now. You can't fuck around and say at, at December 21st, 2012, oh shit, time to get ready. Because it'll be too late by that time. Why? Because if your blood cells, if your uh, blood, uh, the, uh, what's the conduits, the nerve cells and the neurons and the synapses, if those things aren't put together properly, you're going to burn the fuck out. You're going to start catching fire and spontaneous combustion and shit. Do I sound crazy? Well, I hope I do. The current Mayan calendar covers the period 3113 BC to 2012 AD, which is a period of about 5,125 years. Unlike other ancient calendars, it has never been in error. Never. Because the Mayans were timekeepers. All its predictions have been accurate. The Mayans of Mexico, or the Olmecs of the Mexican region, were master mathematicians and time worshippers. They understood time and space more accurately than anyone. They knew the planet Earth would come into synchronization with the, with the universe by 2012 AD. By 2012, we would have reached a total eclipse of time as we know it and an, ent an entry of humanity into something called post-history, something that was already declared and set down for us by the ancestors that went before us. Everybody talk about prehistory. We're talking about post-history. We're talking about after this bullshit. There is a paradigm coming. Part of the Almec prophecy was the harmonic convergence prophecy, which was said that the age of materialism must end at this time and we must return to nature to save ourselves and the planet, our biosphere. Under the Gregorian calendar, we are living a fundamental dogmatic era in time. Use of the calendar in everyday life will help heal the planet, break the vicious link between time and money, and bring oneness and understanding to humanity. The Almec prophecy says that we will soon not need money, and about the same time we will have universal telepathy, the ability to think and shit, and see people, and understand what they want immediately. You ever see these babies coming today? A month or two, they're looking at you like this? It's like, you know, what's your shit? It better be correct. Don't come over here with no bullshit and they look at you. My grandchild look at me like that. And stare at you like they know what they're thinking. Don't fuck with these little ones. That's why you can't be bullshitting now. 
They're going to see right through you. And what the fuck is this with hip-hop? Please tell me. All you brothers and sisters out there in hip-hop, and I'm, si I'm speaking to you all. What can I tell you? I got to talk to you all about it. Because I consider an elder. And I got to speak to you all about this shit. Now, when, when I told you that we are in a feminized society, I got a lot of flack. A lot of sisters didn't like what I was saying, but hey, you know, about brothers, we all fucked up, and you hear about how fucked up we are every day. But nobody was talking about how fucked up the sisters were. And I took the time and told y'all. <laughs> the thing is that the brothers couldn't tell this to the sisters because the sisters could argue your shit down. Women like to argue. They're good at arguing. But I'm better. See, the problem was that the brothers didn't have the conversation to kick it back. So we didn't know what the fuck to say when y'all were saying it. But the wounded womb gave us a conversation. And the women who didn't understand and overstand hated me for that. But it was all right, because after they read it, they saw that it was all love. What happened is that for the last 30 years, we have been feminized as a society. And I'm going to show you how. Brothers in hip hop, you have become more bitch than a little bit. And I'm going to show it and prove it to you. It comes with a insidious behavior that could only be female. And you have to notice it because if you don't see it for what it is, based upon how the times are, you let that shit fly right over your head. What do I mean? What is it that a woman got more of than she got food? Shoes. Shoes. Jack? What is this with the brothers in hip hop? That if these motherfuckers got one little scratch on their Timberlands, they throw that shit out and buy another one. Hold that thought. And think about that for a minute. What the fuck is a Timberland boot? What? It's a goddamn work boot. This shit's supposed to look like you working in them. But these brothers are walking around here with shoes that look like you just took them off the fucking shelf. And if they don't look like that when you put them back on tomorrow, you buy another one. That's bitch. <laughs> the women got you so fucking hard tied that if you don't look clean constantly like you just came the fuck off of a mannequin window, they don't want to have nothing to do with you. So now you done become bitched up, and if your shoes get scuffed, you want to shoot a motherfucker for stepping on your feet. You're supposed to be all fucking conscious. The fuck is that? You're supposed to be a soldier. You're supposed to be a gorilla. What the fuck are you talking about? My shoes got scuffed. I got to buy another one. That's a woman's thought. Your clothes is materialism. That's woman shit. I don't mind them doing that. That's them. But when you do it, brother, where is your manhood? The fuck you thinking about that shit for? Worrying about your damn clothes and whether what your label's showing, ABX and all this shit. Only women think about that shit. You're supposed to be nation building. Now, if hip-hop wants to talk with me, I'm always open. But until you see that that's a psychosomatic, psychoesthetic, psychopathetic way of acting, that you got to worry about your goddamn shoes and what you're wearing on your ass, you got to check about the bitch that's coming up inside of you. And I say that with all love. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
It's all about the psychology. I thought I had to say that to my children. Because I tell that to my son too. You all got to stop thinking about that material shit. That's how they get you in light code lockdown. Some of the zero point reality effects. Get this down. The effects of this particular time. Frequencies and black holes on March 23rd, 1994, 19 suns pole shifted almost simultaneously in our galaxy. 19 suns. At this same time that these suns shifted, a unique color sound frequency began to emanate from most of the black holes in our universe. This has created a holographic frequency above all other frequencies, something on the level of 12th density energies. This raised all other creational frequencies and wavelengths or densities upward. According to our Mayan ancestors, by December 3rd, 2013, third density consciousness will cease to exist as we know it. Allegedly third density now imploding in on itself as it is being raised to a higher frequency. This will all propel us to fourth and fifth densities. We will start to see evidence of this by 2007. December 21st, 2012 marks the end of a 26,000 year consciousness cycle. This particular 13, this is the double 13, the double harmonic. At this moment, that all the celestial bodies and related energies in the galaxy will be geometrically triangulated in such a way that a harmonic will be struck. It is an energetic signature that will reverberate throughout the galaxy. Now you listen carefully to what I'm saying to you. This is something that they are mapping right now on the Hubble telescope. The Hubble telescope has specific kind of information right now Now when I tell you that light code frequencies transmissions are happening, they're happening. They are taking pictures of the star codes as they are being emanated and beamed to you. Our ancestors made it clear, clear that we must be in a state of receptivity during this time. That means you can't be worried about your damn shoes. It means that you can't be worried about what kind of pork juice sandwich you're going to have for dinner. That means you cannot worry about whether or not you got the rent. All that shit is going to mean nothing. If you got to sleep outside, if 10 million motherfuckers are sleeping outside, who going to pay anybody any damn thing? Fuck them. If you say fuck this society tomorrow, the society tumbles. But ain't nobody want to get up off it. Everybody like their TV and their cable and that new digital shit they're coming out with. That's two-way. That's two-way. That digital is two-way. Now, the magnetic shift to zero point. What you are looking at they are taking pictures of the shift of light code. When I was speaking about light code transmissions, here is what they are picking up. These are the star code configurations that are beaming specific light codes to you to reorient the synaptic linkages in your brain, to orient the, cor the corpus colostrum, that piece that is connecting the left and the right brain together, to begin to start putting the electrical charges into your brain in such a way as to change the convolutions. Hello. Now you look at the convolution. Anybody saw Hannibal Lecter? Part two? Made that motherfucker eat his own brain? <laughs> and this shit was real slick, wasn't it? And he was all calm about that shit. Put the motherfucker in, hey, made me eat his own goddamn brain. Well, shit, you been eating your own damn brain, eating that other food? Shit you putting into your body is going into your brain. So you might as well be eating your brain. You keep tapping and sapping this energy, you are eating from that. Now, Astrophysical secret of transmutation and illumination. Now this is what Bobby wanted us to talk about. Transmutation and illumination. And this is what we're going to be speaking on today. The astrophysical secrets to transmutation and illumination is that the base frequency resonance of the planet is rising. 
the base frequency resonance of the planet is rising. What does that mean? It means that the planet's energy grids are now shifting to a higher, more volatile, and more subtle energy band that will force you to either be left because your wiring in your body ain't shit or to be taken along for the ride. Some of the effects we're going to speak about. The Earth is passing through a star code energy grid. The white man calls the frequency resonance of the planet the Schulman. S-H-U-M-A-N-N. The Schumann Residence. This base frequency is the heartbeat of the planet. So there's a base frequency that the planet, of the planet that can be measured. And when they measure it, it has a pulse. And they call that the heartbeat of the planet. For decades, the overall measurement, listen carefully, was 7.8 cycles per second. Once it was thought to be a constant. So the military developed its global communications around this one pulse. But the recent reports put the rate at over 11 cycles and climbing. So it went from 7.8 and now it's up to 11 cycles and climbing. What does that mean? Well, we're going to get on it. What it means is that the earth, as in the times of our ancestors, is about to stop spinning. The earth is about to stop spinning. When this event takes place, the resonant frequency will reach what? 13 cycles. There's that number again. That's the return of the Christ that they're talking about. The Christ is the spirit in the planet. The Redeemer is the cycles per second and the heartbeat that entrains your consciousness to it as the planet's cycle of consciousness goes up. So the Jesus factor reaches mathematically 13. The Jesus factor is 13. So when you have the cycles per second rising to a level where as soon as the planet stops, it reaches 13, that's the redemption. But they're saying in your Bible, for all you good Christians, that most of you motherfuckers going to hell. And that they're only going to save how many? 144,000 of you motherfuckers. I don't see none of y'all. No, that's I'm only kidding. The 144,000 has to do with you raising that saving seed. The sisters stopping the menstrual cycle, the brothers beginning to use the karitza and channeling that sperm up to their brain. Getting the body ready for the change in frequency that's going to either make you explode or implode. Listen carefully. When the earth reaches 13 cycles per second, we will experience what is known as a zero point magnetic field. The earth will stop for about two to four days and will begin turning in the opposite direction. Why do you think that the Illuminati rebuilt Kemet in the Western Hemisphere? Where they rebuilt Kemet? Washington, D.C. All right, check. The sun will rise in the west. Oh, shit. That's why these motherfuckers is built Kemet here. <laughs> 